Anybody who has a bird feeder knows this situation where the squirrels take the food from the birds. Well, I looked at eBay and Amazon and I needed a wraparound type baffle, um, but they were all too expensive. Um, I didn't like this design either because if the girls were running around, they might run right into it and I didn't like that. Lee Vault Valley also had uh, some squirrel proof feeders, but they all seemed just a little bit too expensive for a bird feeder. Wasting money blows my mind. For me, wasting money and being cheap has always gotten my creative juices flowing. Took a walk around Home Depot and I found this 5 inch diameter, 30 inch long galvanized pipe. Obviously meant for ventilation, um, but it was perfect. You could open it up and get it around the, uh, the, bird, feeder, the bird feeder pole and you can close it up afterwards. The five inch pipe is perfect because it's just wide enough where the squirrels can't reach their little arms around and grip. And the 30 gauge is easier to cut. I was just using this sharpie to make uh, a template of what I wanted to cut out. I really didn't have a great plan, all I knew was that I had to reduce the size uh, so that I could fold it in and so I can get it uh, snugly around the pole. Tin snips were fine to uh, get through this material. It's not that easy to cut through and you gotta be careful with your hands. Here's the end result. Looking back on it, I think I should have really made them a lot smaller and it would be easier to fold it up. But really what I did was just uh, drill some holes in each of the little tabs, uh, put a little uh, picture hang wire through it. Again, galvanized so it'll be a little bit better outside and uh, hook it up there, squeeze it in. The little spaces there are not big enough for the squirrel to uh, fit through easily. Nothing sticks out so nobody can accidentally run into it, which is great. You can see here, the squirrel gets really stuck, wonders, what am I going to do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Ah. And here's one squirrel that's extremely persistent. Um, he started going down each branch to figure out how he can get closest down to jump towards the uh, bird feeder. He tries a bunch of different branches and tries to decide. So I, I, I mean, this is just a short clip, but he tried every single branch that he could to get close enough to jump down. In the end, he gave up. Or did he? In the end, the squirrels stay on the ground and you'll see a little chickadee come in here and feed. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Thanks for watching.